And now, eight on your side, special coverage, Cuba mourns Castro. The convoy carrying the ashes of Cuban leader Fidel Castro has left for Santiago. Crowds line the streets to give Castro a final farewell when the military caravan left from Santa Clara. His ashes are being driven back along the same route that Castro took to revolt against the Cuba, the Cuban leader back in 1959. Well, tonight, a delegation from the Tampa Bay History Center is in Cuba to witness this historic period of mourning. News Channel 8's Jeff Patterson met up with him today. Jeff is the only Bay Area reporter in Cuba this week. The funeral procession of Fidel Castro continues to wind its way through this country. It's an amazing sight. A small cedar coffin covered by a Cuban flag is in the back of a trailer filled with flowers and pulled by a green military jeep. The route the coffin is taking is the reverse of Fidel Castro's march to power after his revolution in 1959. All along the journey, thousands of people line the streets to wave flags, some of them crying as the procession passes in front of them. The journey will travel more than 500 miles when Castro's ashes will be interred this Sunday in Santiago de Cuba. All throughout this country, there are officially nine days of mourning until that interment takes place. Castro's death is just symbolic to some. He hasn't been president for a decade. Many Cubans have told us it's like losing a beloved grandfather one historian from Tampa told me you have to go back to the funeral train that took Abraham Lincoln from Washington, D.C. to Illinois to compare this event to anything like it in the United States. It's a symbolic loss to some, but a meaningful and emotional loss to many here in Cuba. In Havana, Cuba, Jeff Patterson, News Channel 8. And Jeff is reporting from Cuba all week, and he is the only local reporter there. You can watch his reports every night right here on News Channel 8.